Today, we are going to meet two more of the bravest, fastest, and most advanced visual developers from the Webflow community. They'll be going head to head for a chance to win airfare, hotel accommodations, and a ticket to WebflowConf. Welcome to the 2023 Webflow Speed Build Challenge. Now, if this is your first time tuning in for a Speed Build Challenge, let me walk you through how it works. Our challengers will be given a random prompt like this, that which you, our virtual audience in the live chat, will help us choose on an online poll. The prompts for this year will include a type of layout or component to build, the general topic of the content for the layout, a theme for the design, and lastly, a Webflow interaction they need to use. As far as rules go, each challenger will have only 20 minutes to quickly design and build their projects in Webflow. Also new this year, challengers are allowed to use any third-party tool that is free and even add custom code to their project. Once completed, our judges will give each project a maximum score of 10 points. And you, our live virtual audience, can give a challenger two bonus points by voting in a live poll during the judging phase. Speaking of judging, let's quickly meet our amazing guest judges today. First, we have one of the most helpful teachers in the Webflow community and founder of the Flux Academy, Ran Segal. Welcome, Ran. What's up, Nelson? Good to be here. Awesome. Next, we have creative director at ConvertKit, writer, speaker, and content creator, Charlie Marie. Welcome. Nice to be here. I'm looking forward to seeing some creative designs. Yes, same here. And lastly, we have one of the first Webflow community members, Vincent Bideau. Welcome. Hi, Nelson. I'm very happy to be here this year. Yes, so happy you're here. And uh, thank you all for being here to judge this regional round of the Speed Build Challenge. Now, let's go ahead and meet our two brave challengers, starting with Riziki from Copenhagen, Copenhagen, Denmark. Welcome. How are you? Thanks, I'm doing good. Yeah, so this is your second time in the challenge, but last year you didn't make it to the semifinals. So what have you done differently to prepare for this year's challenge? Yeah, so this year I'm going to pay more attention to the time. And uh, so I'm going to focus on finishing the prompt fast and then improving it progressively by adding more interactions and just making it look more awesome. Great, great. And for our... <laughs> Challenger for today for this EMAA region, uh, we have Stefan from Sofia, Bulgaria. Welcome, Stefan. Are you muted? Let's see here. Let's unmute. I want to hear yeah. you. There we yeah. go. How are you hey, feeling? Hey, Nels. I'm, I'm feeling great. I'm ready for this PPO challenge. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm ready to have fun right now uh, in this challenge and uh, just to see how everything goes here. Awesome. Now, uh, besides, you know, building websites uh, for people using Webflow, uh, what other hobbies do you have? Well, I go rock climbing and swimming. I really love to go rock climbing on the weekends in the mountains. Uh, and uh, that's actually keeping my uh, brain working on the weekends when I'm not working on Webflow projects. And uh, that's basically are my uh, top hobbies that I do. Besides uh, building calls on websites. It makes sense why uh, uh, you're in this challenge. You like to take on a challenge. You like to keep your brain thinking really fast because that's what you got to do in um, rock climbing. So, uh, yeah, again, congrats to both of you, Stefan and Riziki, for making it this far into the challenge. But uh, here we go. We're going to get straight into it. We're going to start your regional round. Riziki, are you ready? Yeah. Oh, okay. Stefan, yeah. are you ready? <laughs> yes. All right. Here we go. Let us see what you'll be building today. I'm going to end the poll. The community has spoken and we are going to randomize your prompt three times. So this isn't the prompt, but here we go. Let's see here. I'm going to do it once, twice. And now here is your prompt. A collection list with 10 sample items for a toy store that has a space theme that also has con a continuous scrolling interaction. Woo! Okay. 
here we go. I'm gonna copy this. Um, I'm gonna put it in Zoom chat for our for our challengers, but I'm also gonna put it in the live chat for everyone to see. I'm gonna pin it to the top of the chat. So here we go. Again, a collection list with 10 sample items for a toy store that has a space theme that also has a continuous scrolling interaction. Okay. So let's go ahead and put 20 minutes on the clock. Riziki, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready to make some cool stuff. Yeah, that's what I'd like to hear. <laughs> Stefan, are you ready? Let's go. All right. Good luck to you both. Ready, set, build. Okay. So as they get started gathering up other assets, I want to uh, further introduce each judge, uh, starting with uh, Ran. So Brand, again, so glad you're here. Uh, you know, your YouTube channel has been so successful and your courses have helped thousands and thousands of designers jumpstart their own careers. Was there any of those um, stories from your students that like really stood at, at, out to you that really touched your heart? I mean, just this week, uh, first, first of all, thank you for the kind words. Uh, this week, I actually had a call with one of our students from like i think four years ago and he told me that he just got the email from webflow to be a webflow community le leader uh global community leader so that's that's to me that's amazing you know that our students have going to become webflow experts now global community leaders and making kind of like the impact is rippling uh building agencies and and that's amazing so to me i'm very feel very grateful to have that impact that's awesome that's awesome charlie your YouTube channel has always um, has also been super successful, and um, what I love about it is uh, you design and you do vlogs, and it's like you you take inspiration from from traveling. So, out of all the places you've been to, which one has uh, inspired you the most in your career? Wow. Okay, that's a tough question. I think I'm gonna have to say London because I lived there for four and a half years actually. So I don't know if it counts as a place I traveled to, but I moved there from my home country of New Zealand, which is like really small place at the bottom of the world, super removed from everything. And I do feel like moving to London is when I like got to have a fresh start and like enter my professional life and reinvent myself a little bit, you know, um, be inspired by the buzz of the city. I think the city has twice the population of my whole home country. So, you know, it was, it was quite a shock to the system to start with. But yeah, that's where my YouTube channel really took off as well. And where I found Rand's YouTube channel was when I was living in London and got introduced to Webflow. And so, you know, it all comes full circle here. <laughs> oh, yeah, totally makes sense. Totally makes sense. A, a complete uh, 180, a complete shift in your mindset. Yeah. when you, you go from an island to a, a big city. So yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Vincent, I'm going to you because uh, I've known you for such a long time and you've joined the community, I think back in 2014. So that means you're one of the original community members. Yeah, if by original you mean uh, I'm old enough to remember dial modem sound, yes, I am. But you're the one who just crossed 10 years designing with Webflow. It was very recently, I saw your tweet. So, I mean, like, that's that's awesome. That's a real career. Uh, I'm just behind you. I'll, I'll, I'll do my tweet as well in a few months. Yeah, yeah, 10 years. It's a, it's a long time, but, like, meeting people like you, Ran and Charlie is... Uh, through this whole journey of nerding out with about Webflow is, and web design has just been awesome, awesome. So, uh, yeah, I have 16 minutes, 16 minutes, 35 seconds on the clock. Let's check in and see what's going on with our designers. And judges, if you want to call out any, okay, Wally. Okay, I just saw Wally. <laughs> but if you want to call out anyone's screen, just let me know and we'll zoom in on that but i see wally and an avocado on the left and i see a cool grid uh hero section on uh sorry from riziki's side wally and an avocado stefan is doing a really cool uh hero section but uh yeah all of this done within four minutes 
Yeah, wow. I, yeah. I'm really liking what I'm seeing in Stefan's with this overlapping images. It's one of my favorite things to do with web design is make it behave more like something you've arranged manually. You know, on the web, everything wants to be in a grid. And so seeing things overlapping, I think it brings a more organic element. It's pretty cool, liking what I'm seeing. I also think that if we're in a space theme kind of uh, vibe, then definitely the the kind of like dark mode, dark background is definitely in place. And uh, yeah, excited to see how this is shaping up. I'm wondering if Riziki is pandering to me because those toys are everything that I have at home so far. <laughs> like, did I actually think this is if it, because it sounds like you know. Uh, Toy store sounds like an e-commerce shop, which is always kind of like the focus on making e-commerce shop looks good is about having the photo images looks good. Yeah. Um, I would probably jump into mid journey to create some cool toys, uh, imagery, like product shots. Um, yeah, I, I see them having chat GPT open, but I would actually probably go to mid journey. Yeah. Vincent, any thoughts on uh, challengers? Anyone that you want to zoom in on? Uh, I'm looking what Stefan is doing closely. He's using what I also use, like FinSuite stuff. And uh, he started off with a well-chosen, I think, uh, section from uh, the Relume library. So uh, I'm expecting everything to be spacey and float around at the moment. Uh, I'm just curious, you know, it's, it's there, there's more. How many how many minutes are um, we left? We have... 14 minutes and 15 seconds. And what this, Stefan is doing, I uh, just want to point it out so for short. the audience. He's using the CMS slider FinSuite attribute um, uh, a custom code. So he's really going for it. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm definitely Shout seeing them both do. Shout out to Raziki for, for uh, taking the cue and switching to the dark mode. Ah, he heard quickly. you. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and now he's doing some uh, going outside the grid stuff too. Interesting. They are listening to us. <laughs> All right. I see Riziki. Let's zoom into Riziki. Uh, he is already doing interactions. All right. Okay. So this is, um, he's on his continuous scrolling interaction. That is one of the requirements. Um, so already with, what was that? Uh, six minutes and 30 seconds into it he's already into interaction so that's awesome well he did say right that he was going to focus on getting the content in and uh, addressing the prompt and getting something done so that then he could work on improving it so i think we're seeing him uh, follow through on that yeah. yeah and live audience remember remember whoever is the runner-up you can still save that person at the end of the week on friday we will be putting up a poll with the runners up all three runners up from these three regional rounds on a poll and you can save one of them because we only we have four semi-final spots and only three of them will be taken by the winner so whoever you want to see take that fourth spot and save and send to san francisco you can do it you can vote for that person all right so want to make sure that's clear uh I see right. Stefan worrying too much about the copy. I think in a Webflow challenge, looking for good headlines and text, like, don't worry about it, dude. Just do the design. Can we give live uh, advices to competitors? If you want. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm also, um, I'm, I'm doing like Stefan uh, using um, ChatGPT to, to craft a prelim preliminary copy. Um, what I also do, and that Stefan doesn't, is I always ask for three or five answers for each question I, I ask. Uh, so I'm sure to have like um, a choice and it usually works out very well. Was the I hero interaction that. happening, the, the parallax thing is like a ready-made component or he just did it manually he, and I missed that? He just did it. Oh my God, that was, that's I the first, oh my God of the stream. <laughs> Unless that was part of a reloom, I'm not sure, but I a reloom component, I, I don't know. But usually for me, I do that manually. But yeah. Very Either nice. way, it's coming together fast, isn't it? Both of them. Um, and we've still got half the time left. I'm really looking forward to seeing what special touches yeah. they choose to add with that time. Yes. 
And if you're watching a recording of this or you're watching live, just remember if um, there are any prospective clients out there watching, no, you cannot have your site built this fast. Um, <laughs> don't expect it. But uh, yeah. I think Raziki nailed the, the uh, galaxy space font. That's definitely sends me back to kind of like Star, Star Wars uh, theme. I like it. The, um, the products that uh, Stefan is using is, is part of the, of the section uh, right in, in the Relum library. So uh, it, it was like definitely a good choice uh, to, to select this section, but he didn't have the animation himself. Ah, well, that's resourceful. Very. Yeah. yeah. And I and I told the challengers, all the challengers beforehand, you can come to this challenge with any tools you need in your toolbox. Come prepared. Um, and, and we I'm, saw both Riziki and Stefan had tabs open right before the challenge, ready to dive into ChatGPT, dive into Reloom. Amazing to see. And when I got all the judges for these uh rounds uh for the for this round i was like wow not only do these challengers have to impress vincent but also charlie and ran all three legends in the craft of design and development and uh i was like wow uh this is a tall order my gosh so not stressful hopefully... at all <laughs> So hopefully they're impressing you. Uh, let's zoom in to Riziki's screen because he is working on his continued scrolling interaction. And we see a live preview. Things are moving. Exciting. All right. All right. And playing around with that offset. Okay. Let's zoom into Stefan's screen. And all right. They are impressive. They are in robot mode. They're they're look at their cursor. It goes from one place to another. There's little hesitations. I almost feel like I'm watching it on 2x speed, but I know it's real time and that this is happening live. It just feels like it's been sped up. I mean, that's this the name of the challenge, the... right? It is a speed build. <laughs> this is not a time lapse. This is not a time lapse. Yes. Yes. I want to hear i want to see comments in the the live chat uh janae is saying they're going quick um uh, let's see here vincent commenting live actions on webflow designer sounds like a football sports caster <laughs> and janae is also repping flex up oh, flex flex always cool all right so Man, I can't stop looking at Wally. He's so cute, and I need that Lego set. All right, we challengers, you have seven minutes and forty-two seconds to go. This I don't know it. if they need it. Looks like they're <laughs> almost there. They're added, adding the the polish. They want to impress you all. So I hope it's impressive for the live audience as well. We have Stefan looking for another Reloom component. I wonder what he's going to put. And we have Riziki still going with his continuous scrolling. Let's see what's going to happen. I wonder if Stefan knows the Reloom library off by heart, because he seems to be making choices very quickly about which uh, component to pull from. <laughs> yeah. I guess a lot of studying has to go into this competition. It's almost like they're prepared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad they are. I'm glad they are. Yes. Oh, uh, all right. All right. Yeah. So don't forget, again, whoever uh, is the runner up of this challenge will go on to the poll that will be posted on Friday. So you can vote for the runner up to be sent to the semifinals. OK, so three runners up from these three rounds. You can save one of them. All right. So stay tuned on Friday for that poll. Want to see the community vote for their favorite. And uh, let's see here. Tari is asking, which speed plugin are they using? Uh, <laughs> Red Bull, I think it is. Battle Coffee. <laughs> there we go. 
All right, I'm really loving the space joy, but um, Ran, I don't know if the the pictures that he's using is, is it brings out the toy. Mm. The toy feel. The, you mean in Stefan's in Stefan's design? Yeah, in Stefan's design. Yeah, I think okay. he's trying to bring them right now, and I think it's possibly it's going to make the difference. Um, yeah, I would. Uh, yeah, I would definitely go for something dark. Um, but yeah, it's. It, I'm. I'm looking forward to seeing how it is. Uh, I, I can definitely tell from Raziki's design that the fact that Wally has a dark background makes it look much better. I know they don't probably don't have time to like search or create visuals specifically, but you can see how much better it looks when it kind of like fits within the theme. Yeah. Did you, did you see yeah, what yeah. Stefan just did? Um, mm -hmm. Stefan just tried to copy and paste an image uh, from uh, Google Image to Webflow. And this is some th something that I'm trying like every week, I guess, <laughs> or I, I like my inner self want to be able to do that. So if any developer is listening, uh, I... <laughs> I love that Vincent's using the stream as a chance to get a feature request in. <laughs> <sighs> I'm not char in charge of the roadmap, but uh, engineers, if you're listening, there you go. If you want to take that in, <laughs> but yeah. yeah, let's let's see what Riziki is doing. Let's zoom into Riziki's screen, and um, yeah, looks a lot like of there's a lot of a lot of points in this um, custom interaction over the side here that he's been finessing. Agreed. When you have a long scroll with this kind of interaction, it's always very difficult to pinpoint exactly, oh, I need this on 3%, 4%. You have to go through this a lot to, to fine tune it, especially if it's a long scroll. Four minutes left, challengers, four minutes. It's time to finish up and polish up your projects. All right, challenger, er, live audience, who are you rooting for? I wanna see in chat who you're clapping for. Uh, to win this regional round. I'm actually seeing Stefan dragging from the Chrome download pop-up right into the CMS, which is a very cool trick. I've never done that, that myself. This is a very, very cool thing to speed up the process. Glad to be learning something new today. <laughs> Same here. I did not know you could do that. We're all learning something new. That's what I love about watching people build and learning from others. It's like you can be the best teacher in the world, but then the students are the one that actually teach you. And you're like, aha. Okay, definitely, then. definitely. All right. So we have Stefan in the collections while Riziki is adding more uh, assets to finish up his project. Ooh, looks like we've got a last minute video coming in here. Yeah. Background video. Okay. I like it. Janae's asking in the chat, what's the backstory of the prompt? So the, uh, again, the prompt for today's round is a collection list with 10 sample items for a toy store that has a space theme that also has continuous scrolling. So the backstory is I was trying to think of things that I would want to build really quickly and also challenge myself. But there are times when I'm like, wow, this is a big challenge. And again, at the top of the stream, I said, these are the bravest Webflow community members and they are definitely also the fast, uh, fastest. So much props to them both. Um, yeah. So we Ooh, have- I'm seeing Go ahead. something interesting happening here on Riziki's, adding the video behind all of the products. This might be the thing that brings it all together for him. Agreed. Agreed. Vincent, what do you think about Riziki's uh, background video element uh, coming into play? I like it more and more. I'm, I'm a big fan of uh, background videos. Um, I love to use like very low resolution old videos that I would get on archive.com. And then you can get, you can go to transparenttexture.com and get a very tiny uh, patterned uh, texture that you uh, can lay over the, the video and it it uh, it breaks the low resolution uh, artifacts of the video and it can be very elegant it can be horrible too but most of the time it can be very elegant all right one minute remaining one minute remaining this is it 
This is the end of the regional round. Good job to Riziki and Stefan. Uh, let's zoom in into Steph Stefan's screen one more time. And yeah, we have a interesting that he would put a nav bar, but he has time for a reloom bottom nav bar. That's amazing. Uh, will he have time to finish up with the images? I'm wondering. All right, let's zoom into Rizzi uh, Riziki's screen. And he has a, he's working on his with a background video. And yeah, there should be some continuous scrolling. I think it's going to be the, the UFO. I think the audience can't see it, but they'll see it once the presentations. But judges, please count it down with me for 10 seconds. We have 15 seconds left. This is it for this regional round of the Speed Build Challenge. Judges, 10, 10, 9, nine, nine eight, 8, 7, seven. Six, 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 five, five four, four, three, three two, two, one. one. Yay, hands All off right. your mouses. That is it. Let's stop the timer. Uh, Because it looks like you got an extra 60 minutes. <laughs> Let's stop the timer. And yeah. All right. Thank you both so, so much. That was very, very fun to watch. But uh, now it's time to present your work. So we're going to go with Riziki. Let's zoom into Riziki's project. Riziki, please publish your project and tell us about it. Okay. So uh, yes, we have here the Cosmic Toy Galaxy, which the ChatGPT came up with. I have uh, added a few products. Some of them are more space themed that, um, than others. And um, as you scroll, you'll notice that uh, a few few things are happening. So the the products are rotating a bit as they appear into view. And we have this alien person being uh, beamed up by its huh. uh, own space spaceship. And uh, we also have that actually the earth is scrolling uh, a bit as you uh, as you scroll down here. So it's rotating just in the beginning, well, you, which you, I am. You connected the background video with the scroll? Yes. It was a last wow. minute uh, script. <laughs> how? Uh, yeah, I was okay. like, how? I'm going to need a tutorial now. Thank you. <laughs> Can you do a speed tutorial? That's great. Okay, great. <laughs> wow. Great job. All right. Thank you so much, Riziki, on that project. Claps in chat for Riziki. All right. Let's move on to Stefan's project. Stefan, please publish your project and tell us more about it yep oh, uh you're muted sorry about that so no here's worries. my here's my published project uh and uh the team for this uh um space toy uh store is the space jam and uh the team is that we are in space and everything is floating uh uh, we have the settings that we're being on a ship. Uh, we can see uh, from the beginning uh, how uh, the planet that we are on looks on, like. And uh, after we learn more about the store, we can look into the toys that we have in the store. And this is a slider here that has a little hover interaction uh, to show up the images and the toys that the store has amazing you got the continuous scrolling and you it looks like you're using fin suite client first and reloom awesome awesome job claps in chat for stefan ah uh, okay well here we go it's time to judge judges please open up the spreadsheet and let's put 30 seconds on the clock let me get a pull up for the Audience, Riziki, Stefan. All right, so let's go ahead and put in your scores. So, uh, Riziki, Stefan, how do you feel? I'm going to start with uh, Riziki. How do you feel going through that round? It was uh, very tough. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I tried to complete the prompt fast and then add more stuff, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Awesome. And Stefan, this is your first time being here. How did it feel to finally finish this round? It feels great uh, to actually 
to see what can be done in 20 minutes uh, using some tools and building in the 2 4 uh, and it, I feel really great about this. Awesome. Awesome. Great job to you both. We are done with the judging. Okay. Okay. I see the scores, but I'll let the judges speak for themselves. So we're going to start with Charlie. Charlie, please tell us your scores and why. Okay. Well, um, I did say before we got on this live stream that I was going to be the Simon Cowell of of this process. But so would you I've like actually, to go last? No, I've <laughs> actually decided that I'm I'm not going to be more generous with my scoring. Um, both of you did a great job of addressing the prompt and the space theme. We're seeing the dark mode happening. I I felt that Stefan actually had a a better sense of design quality in in the build. But I've actually I've given Stefan seven points for that. But I've actually given Riziki a higher score of eight points because I felt like the way he addressed the prompt with the continuous scrolling in the space theme and like tying it together with the spaceship coming along the bottom and the world turning uh, was a more creative use of Webflow uh, with the prompt. So that's that's my scores and my reasoning. But well done to both of you. Awesome. We're going to go to Ran next. Ran, your scores and why? All right. First of all, really impressive. Uh really impressive work from both candidates. Uh, I gave Riziki seven points. I think he did a really great job building everything from scratch and pulling everything together. Um, I did give Stefan nine points. I think the end results was more impressive. And I also like that, you know, he used, I think he made a very creative uh, use of ready-made components with the Reeling library and managing to bring them all together in a way that made sense. Um, I love that. Awesome. And lastly, Vincent. Yeah, I'm impressed by by both of them. Uh, it's a very short time to achieve that. Um, I gave Riziki seven points. I like his take. I'm impressed by the last edition of the script that is uh, binding the, the, the scoring to um, the playback of the video. I really like that. I really like that. Um, it, looks like a section of a shop with um, the, the the title, the photo of the product and the price. Um, uh, however, I gave uh, Stefan eight points. Uh, I like that his work looks like a, fin like, like a finished uh, template product. Uh, I like that he um, knew his game with the Relium library to pick the right section for the job that that also is bringing a wow effect that he didn't have to work on with this crawling uh, uh, interaction. Um, it the, the 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 toy part could have been a more um, looking like mm -hmm. a shop uh, with a more details name and product, but. He's yeah. done a lot. I liked. Uh, I wanted to say I liked how Riziki uh, worked on this uh, crazy long and tall interaction. I can see myself working on on similar things. Uh, yeah. I liked it very much. I like them both too. So if you're keeping score at home, the score is Riziki with twenty two, and Stefan with twenty four. However, the community bonus of two points. <gasps> went to Riziki. Oh, I love the drama. So we have a tie. We have a tie and we are ready for this because we have a tiebreaker. So I'm going to reset the scores. Challengers, we're not done yet. Audience, we are not done yet. Here we go. The new challenge is in five minutes, add any interaction to your build any interaction within five minutes make it creative make it fun whatever you want you heard the feedback from the judges now how are you going how are you going to implement that and impress them even more and impress the community as well all right so we are resetting all the scores we have five minutes on the clock all right so here we go stefan are you ready for this tiebreaker yeah yeah, ready. <laughs> Riziki, are you ready? Yes, as ready as can be. <laughs> ready, set, build. All right, they're going back into Webflow. Uh, we had a tiebreaker last year, and wow, um, 
it was really, really, really close between uh, it was Carlos and Ankita, and Carlos won that one. But it's amazing to see how close it is for this one. I can see that, um, Charlie, you were going for the more fun, playful, whereas uh, Ran and Vincent were were looking more at the at the aesthetics and like how the build was made and, and, and stuff like that. So really nice to see this variety of judging. Yeah, I'm really I interested to see what Roziki a... is going to do next for adding an interaction because there's so much of his design is about the interactions already. What else? What else is he going to add? Yeah. yeah. Also, this is not something that you can copy paste in a component. This is something that you have to create on your own right now. So I'm I'm excited to see how Stefan is going to pull that one together. Yeah, this is a perfect scenario with uh, with uh, the audience uh, uh, doing the tie. This is great. Yes, and audience, you'll be able to give uh, another two bonus points because we are resetting everything. I'm going to get that pull ready. Uh, yeah, it looks like, all right, I, I, I see that Stefan is adding more details to his uh, product cards, taking uh, your advice, Vincent. And on the other side for Riziki, I see he's adding a rocket ship and, okay, he's adding mouse movement Ooh. for it. This is interesting. Right. Noise background. Uh, let's zoom in on Stefan. So Stefan just found... Uh, is this like added... a public library or something personal? I mean, Can I talk? Uh, so it's something personal, uh, a nice. library that right. I have. All right. Excited to see what it will do. He came prepared. Yeah. He's adding background noise. I'm very interested to see what it looks like. And I hope it comes through on the stream. I kind of see it. Like we need like exciting music in the background, <laughs> like dun, 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 or something. You just keep singing Ran. <laughs> there we go. You can be the music. <laughs> no copyright. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sing, sing something original. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Sorry, YouTube bots. We didn't mean any harm. <laughs> yes. All right. Two minutes, 15 seconds to go. Uh, anything catching your eye, judges? I'm really curious to see how Riziki's playing around in this interactions panel over here. Um, if you look at the, the screen itself, it can look like there's not a lot happening, but you see all that detail over on the right-hand side as he's aligning things and setting timings. I know I'm going to want to play around with his site when he's, when he's done with it. Yes, same here. Rockets are my thing. I mean, yeah. My now, hand. when we move into the judging for this, are we judging based on solely the interaction they added, or are we judging the overall uh, with the new interaction added? The overall with the new interaction added. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like, did the new interaction add anything for you? Did it? Yeah, is it? Is it impressing you even more? So I'm really interested. And if we have another tie, oh my gosh, I don't want to take this. You have to be extreme in the voting this time. <laughs> it's either 10 or zero. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. Uh, we have, I, I think Stefan's adding another continuous scrolling interaction. Oh, interested, interested. All right. Less than a minute to go. Challengers, this is it. The end of our tiebreaker. 45 seconds to go. Very, very proud of these two brave and very quick Webflow community members. It is not easy to do this in front of your peers. And of course, in front of Charlie, Ran, and Vincent of all people. Ooh, we haven't this? mentioned he's that adding something else. <laughs> he adds, he's Add adding a, lot a, drone. Of a drone on top of everything. <laughs> <laughs> we what haven't talked say? about the fact that uh, Stefan is using a uh, FinSuite's uh, attribute library for his slider, and as easy as it oh, is, ten it's seconds. Like you always have to to check Five, out the manual. Four, three, three two, 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 one, one. one. Hands off All your right. mouth. That's it. That's it for the tiebreaker. Oh, wow. Okay. 
So, judges, uh, let's see what's going to happen. Uh, Riziki, we're going to go back to your screen. Please publish and present your new interaction. What did you add to your build to impress our guest judges? All right. So uh, I added this cool uh, rocket uh, ship, which is uh, an animated lottie. Uh, which is uh, also following the cursor, and it's uh, it's kind of rotating as well as you are flying through space. So um, that was my uh, my interaction here. And I see that you were trying to add a drone as well. <laughs> yes, the drone is just chilling in the corner. <laughs> can you close? Can you close all other tabs, including the Webflow Designer? I want to make yeah. sure that your animation, your interactions are as smooth as possible. So go ahead, refresh your page. Yes. So, right. uh, yeah, we of course still have the other things going on, and uh, yeah, and now the rocket as well that is flying around with your cursor. Nice, great job! <laughs> thank you, thank you again. Let's go to Stefan's screen. Stefan, go ahead and close up all your other tabs. Yeah, for sure. All right. We want to make sure that everything is as smooth as possible. Let's go ahead. Uh, please present your work. All right, so for my personal library that I have for CSS, JavaScript, and anything that I'm using on project to build even faster and develop even faster, I added a noise background that uh, is moving. And this is to add more to the space team and to add more to the premium team of the Toy Store. Uh, because you might have seen on awards website that uh, there is uh, a noise, noise moving in the background. Mm -hmm. little little dots that are moving with the power of CSS and uh, they can be also done with JavaScript. And I added this uh, with uh, from my personal rivalry. And after that, I added uh, more continuous scrolling animation uh, to make these uh, top uh, images fade uh, when we are going into here so they can fade like oh. that. Yeah, uh, okay. also added uh, this to fade and uh, this view all toys to fade in uh, and also to have a button so we know it's a store and that we can buy the toys. Uh, and uh, yeah, we can go through the slider here uh, and buy any toy we want and uh, to see any toy we see. But uh, yeah, overall, uh, just to make the team more into space with the noise. So these are the interactions that I added. Awesome. Thank you so much. Let's put 30 seconds on the clock for the judging phase. Uh, judges, please put in your scores. Uh, Riziki, Stefan, thank you both so much. Both of you did a wonderful job. I am so impressed by both projects. I've I, I've learned a lot about Reloom. I learned that you can connect a background video with custom code and scrolling inside of Webflow. Uh, wow. Wow. Both amazing projects. Uh, yes. Live audience, please input your votes, but we are done with the scoring. I'm closing the poll now. All right. This is it. This is it. Um, yeah. So we'll start going backwards. We'll start with Vincent, your scores and why. I gave um, uh, Stefan seven points. Um, I like the additions. Uh, the the uh, I'm, I'm a personal fan of the um, uh, vibrant moving texture. It gives a cinematic look that the, the his website already had. I gave um, Riziki, however, eight points. I think the overall uh, work uh, is closer to the prompts. Uh, I, it, it definitely looks more uh, like uh, a shop. And I'm playing live with his output right now. And the interaction he added is very smooth, very refined. Um, it works as, as it should be. And I give him props for crafting all the animations, all, all the interactions. So that's my final vote. Awesome. OK, let's go to Ran. All right, so I've actually decided to switch my points around and give Raziki nine points and Stefan seven points. And the reason being, I was, first of all, in terms of the last interaction, I think 
it was really impressive what Riziki did with the uh, mouse over kind of gamified the whole thing. Uh, really, really cool. Like with with Stefan, honestly, like nice noisy background didn't add like something significant for me. But lastly, I think because this is a speed build, it was really impressive to see Raziki actually build by hand the interaction by himself. So that was really impressive. I love that. Um, that's that's why I changed my mind. All right. And lastly, Charlie. Well, I honestly think you both made great additions and like made great use of that last five minutes. Stefan, we saw you address the feedback that we had about adding the buy buttons, making it look more like a store. And I appreciated seeing you uh, add in some more of the continuous scroll interaction by hand. Riziki, I love the cursor and the way it curves with the earth that's in the background, I think was a really nice touch. Um, and like Vincent said, it's really smooth. So I ended up actually just bumping up both of your scores by one. So Stefan, I've given you eight points. Riziki, I've given you nine points. Awesome. Thank you so, so much. And again, audience, if you're keeping score, the score so far is Riziki with 26 and Stefan with 22. The community bonus points goes to Stefan, but that makes... Riziki with 26, Stefan 24. Riziki, congratulations. You are going to San Francisco. Thank you so much. And great, great job with your build. My gosh. Um, yeah, let's go to Stefan. Uh, that was an amazing run. Uh, very, very proud of you. Uh, you've made it so far into this challenge. But uh, any last thoughts um, uh, about this? Anything you want to say to the community? Thank you. Uh, it's been really great uh, to be participate in this challenge. And uh, my thoughts to the community uh, is uh, for speed building. Uh, if you want to build, build or do things like that, uh, libraries like Reloom or using tools like uh, Fin Suites, uh, CMS filtering, slider works best and uh, thank, you, thank you all for tuning in uh and yeah i'm really grateful to be a part of this challenge awesome thank you thank you so much stefan you put your webflow skills to the test and in front of so many community members and in front of our judges uh let's give it up one more time in chat claps in chat for stefan thank you thank you so much and community remember if you want to save him at the end of the week, we'll put a poll up and you can vote for him to take the, that fourth semifinalist round and still go to San Francisco. Uh, thank you again, uh, Stefan, for your work. Let's go to Riziki. Riziki, this is your second time <laughs> here. You are going to the semifinals. How do you feel right now? Uh, I feel uh, amazing. <laughs> it was, uh, yeah, so a very, uh, very tough round. I think I saw Stefan's build, and it looks really good too. So, um, yeah, but uh, it's great. I'm so, uh, so happy right now. <laughs> awesome, awesome. We finally get to meet in San Francisco, <laughs> and you'll see the other challengers there. But, uh, yeah, we'll see you. And is there anything you want to say to the community before we let you go? Uh, yeah, I just want to say that it's uh, it's great that uh, we have such an open and vibrant community and a lot of people making great content and sharing the cool stuff that they make. And uh, yeah, uh, I love to be a part of it. Yes, yes. One more time, claps in chat for both Raziki and Stefan for their wonderful, wonderful work. Uh, yeah, so that's it for this round. So don't forget, we have one more round. Let's let's show it on screen. There we go. We have one more round, the final regional round. It's going to be Carter versus Carlos. Carlos was our third place winner from last year. So he's back, ready for more. He's been preparing, and so has Carter. So check it out tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific Daylight Savings Time be here, this same channel, youtube.com slash webflow. Please subscribe so you'll get notified. And again, watch for the poll. We're going to put a poll on July 28th, this Friday, and it'll be open for a week. So you can save one of the winners up.
to take that fourth semifinalist spot and still go to San Francisco. Now, let's give one more big thanks to our wonderful judges. We have Charlie, Ran, and Vincent, legends in the web design game. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, Charlie, start with you. Anything you want to say to the community before we let you go? I just love the creativity of the Webflow community and the way that everyone is pushing each other forward to progress, try new things, keep it up. It's inspiring. Awesome. Ram. Yeah, best community out there. I'm I'm like so impressed by, you know, the 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 how excited people are and how passionate people are in the Webflow space about Webflow and about pushing themselves and creativity um, and helping each other. Uh, so just beautiful. Thank you to everybody. Awesome. And lastly, Vincent. You're muted. I, yeah, oh, I, know. <laughs> I don't know if people realize how many different things you need to master to achieve this in such a short time and um, all the knowledge you have to have with uh, custom code and all the tools that are around there's plenty but still you have you need to keep your mind fresh uh, it's amazing what Webflow allows us to do. Um, felicitations, Riziki and Stefan. That was very amazing to say. And when we said, this is not a time lapse. This, is, this was really from the bottom of our hearts because it really looked like one. Yes, I agree. This is not a time lapse. And it was just amazing to watch. This it wasn't uh, two times speed. This was one time. So uh, again, congrats to Riziki for making the semifinals. That is it for this round. I'll see you all tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific time, this same YouTube channel. And again, my name is Nelson Oblos Jr. Reminding you all to make the web beautiful together. See ya. <laughs>